So we're asked in this problem to find where this function hx crosses the x-axis. So you can see the function is a quadratic because it has the highest power of x is 2. That's how we know it's a quadratic. And a quadratic always has the shape of a u-shape or an n-shape. And if it's a plus x squared, it's always going to be a u-shape. So really the question is asking us, where does the curve cut across the x-axis, this curve here? Now, first thing I always do when I get a, a function question like this, I change the hx or the fx or whatever it may be to a y and change the arrow to an equal sign. So you're left with an equation, y equals x squared minus 2x. And then you kind of figure out, well, y has to be 0 because we're really only talking about these two points here and where, in other words, where the curve cuts the x-axis. And for both of these points, the y value is 0. So what we can do is we can replace the y with 0. And this is the equation that we end up with. Now, this is a quadratic equation. So in a quadratic equation, you always get two answers, two answers for x. And they're going to correspond to the two x values here. So all we have to do is solve this equation. Now, as we've identified already that this is a quadratic equation, we have to make sure that we have 0 on the right-hand side of the equation. And we do have here. So there's a 0 here. Then we can go ahead and start factorizing this side. So the, the method of solving quadratic equations is you factorize the, the expression on the left of the equation while you have 0 here. And now, normally with quadratics, you have maybe three terms here, and you have a certain method of doing that. And some people get confused when they see only two terms, and they think they have to maybe bring the zero over here or something like that. You don't have to do that. Really, all you have to do is think, what type of factorizing can I do on this? You know there's four types of factorizing. There's a highest common factor, grouping, difference of two squares, and quadratic factoring. factoring. So... This one here, the one you should always try first, by the way, is highest common factor. So if there's anything in common, and there is here, x is in common, so then you take out the x as a common factor. So this is the highest common factor of these two, because it goes into both terms. And then to get this part here, you just divide the x into x squared to get x, and divide the x into minus 2x to get minus 2. In other words, the x cancels with the x, you're left with minus 2. And these are now your two factors. That's one factor, that's the other factor. And the rule is always that you split them apart and put each factor equal to zero. So we put the x equal to zero, and we put the x minus two equal to zero. And then we just simply solve these. Well, that's already solved. This one, you just bring the two across, becomes x equals two.